what is a design process today in this session we are having a design tracker of one of a local firm so here they have lined up every process what they follow for a client to start their interior designing of a property from start to end so if you see here first step what they have put as a mood board so before starting this process firms send the initial quotation they'll first they'll have a meeting with the client and after that they will take down all the requirements then they they will give them a rough quotation where they add every furniture so whatever work the customer wants for their property might be the painting the furnitures the civil work plumbing so all these things they will create a first initial quotation as per the customer budget and they try to negotiate if the budget over exceeds the customer's budget and they try to close the deal so once the deal is closed the firm will take a design fee so from there they will start this process so initially what they'll do is some firms they start with the mood board so what is a mood board so you can see here this firm has put in their remarks as a description as a visual tool that consists of a rooted collections of images texture colors patterns and other elements to convey and explore the overall aesthetic and mood of a design concept so what is a mood board actually is a mood board is where the interior designer puts down all the rooms uh, the ideas the concepts even the themes if a customer has a particular theme which they want to get it done might be a modern a contemporary a uh, retro or a industrial or a fusion of two themes so the designers will take all the notes from the customer requirement and put everything in a mood board so this is how a mood board looks like so once the mood board is done the their next step is about a floor layout usually the firm will already have a floor layout from the property where they will send initial quotation they need to have a floor plan where they need to calculate the furniture measurements where they want the furniture they want to put in might be the tv unit the wardrobe kitchen cabinets so initially they will collect the floor plan if not they will uh, send the designer or their measurement team to get down the rough measurements in this the floor layout what this firm has mentioned as this refers to a floor plan that illustrates the spatial arrangement of key elements within the entire space to understand how furniture fixtures and other design elements will be positioned in the given space so in floor plan layout there is nothing like fixtures and other design elements which will be shown what happens in floor layout your wardrobes only the top view will be shown if necessary elevations will be done so because if in the initial stage only if you do detailing the fixtures so it doesn't make sense because to give the the customer may take the copy and they may go to a local vendor so the in initial floor layout what the things will be added are the top view of all the furnitures the fixed and the loose furnitures like beds sofas and other uh, chairs and tables these will be placed in the top view with proper space planning these elements will be calculated as per the square foot for the pricing when placing all these uh, furnitures they will even sometimes consider even lighting which will come under electrical floor planning they will also do space planning for the fan fixtures they we can also indicate the ac points as well but these will be too much of detailings usually they will just do the furniture floor plan the top view and they will uh, add uh, fans acs if necessary and this floor layout will be shown to the customer where and how the furniture will be placed and from which position of the wall and what will be the distance available so sometimes the customer will ask initially the front view which is known as the elevation so these elevations will not have any measurement so these elevations will be just line drawings where it will be shown how much width the wardrobes or the kitchens will be coming and the other furnitures so once the customer is uh, happy with the floor layout they will not finally close their designs over there they'll be okay they'll give a go ahead approval for the designer or the firm to start with the 3d design so what this firm has done is after a floor layout 
out again they have come to a master mood board so what they have mentioned in master mood board is a room specific mood board a visual presentation that captures the intended style atmosphere and aesthetic for a particular room with a large space now what these people have done here is initially they are going to give a rough concept where they will just ask the client what theme they want and they are going to prepare in the initial first stage so after the floor layout and the third a master mood board what these people are doing is they are going to ask the customer exactly what and how they want the room to be done so as per that they are going to pick up the themes you can get in the first go what exactly they want and you can do that and then you can go to a uh, floor layout and you can start 3d and in master mood board you will have to be very specific what and what the likes and dislikes the customers have and what you're going to present them for their presentation also make sure that whatever you add in the mood board and those things are available in the market so it is not that you picked up something from a uh, internet might be from google or pinterest and later on you end up not having practically happening that particular design on site so once the mood board is done you get an approval so here what they are doing in the fourth step they are doing cad elevation so there are people who do directly 3d and then they go to cad elevation see if you start with cad elevations and then go to 3d model it is a hectic because you start doing all the cad elevations then you go to 3d modeling then you show the customer that this is how a 3d looks like and later on the customer is not happy with it and he he or she the customer will ask you to do rechanges then again you go to cad do again cad your designs then come back again to 3d so this is a hectic process so it is always recommended you can start 3d modeling by using google sketchup so which is most of the architects and the other firms use this so link is in the description you can download google sketchup and if you want tutorials the link is also in the description where you can learn google sketchup for free so in this if you see in the fourth pointer what they have done is cad elevation so if you see what they have mentioned over there is these are two dimensional drawings that respect vertical view representing the interior space showcasing features such as walls windows doors and other design elements so i don't know what other design elements these people are talking about usually a cad elevation will consist you of furniture drawings wall decors and those things usually people don't do much detailing on that because cad drawings are given to the carpenters only the carpenters will receive cad drawings for the furnitures the electrician will be receiving cad drawings for their electrical points and the plumber if there are any plumbing shiftings will receive a plumbing drawing other design elements is not necessary where you, you can put because you can't specifically pick a decor and sit and waste your time to design that specific decor in 2d drawing so this is what happens when you work under a person who is not into interior designing but they have a passion for interior designing or they look that the market has money interior designing and they start up doing this so do avoid this this is a huge red flag for the designers so in cad elevations you can show the customer your cad drawings but make sure that you show them with measurements because sometimes they last with measurement also or if you can convince the customer by showing them without measurements that is also fine so keep it simple the cad elevations because the customer will not focus much on cad drawings they only 3d designs will start attracting them because that is where they can exactly see what color how it looks like and how is going to come out in, in their site or in their property so then these people are going for fifth pointer with on 3d modeling now if you see here they have mentioned that 3d modeling the remarks are virtual models of spaces to depict the spatial characteristics proportions and details of a room to provide a realistic view of interior space allowing to visualize how different elements will come together in a 3d space a basically a 3d model will be a visualization of a room or of the whole property how the furnitures lights decors and other loose furnitures will look like after placing all them after rendering or even in raw renders there is nothing as like where you can show like in together in a 3d space there is nothing like 3d space you can have a room where with four walls you put all these elements your furnitures light fixtures decors and your loose furnitures 
and your appliances if you are uh, putting in those specific rooms you can show all this so 3d modeling is something where a customer customer can understand what things are coming inside their property where they're going to do interior 3d for a designer is something where he or she visualizes in her mind and which he or she puts that creativity into the software and shows that visualization into a 3d for where people can see mm -hmm.